All right, guys, we're back here with another video. And what we're looking at today in uh, the second concept of drawing boot camp is what we call poster value. And what poster value refers to is when we look at a subject and we simplify all of the values, all of the lights and all of the darks into just two categories, light and dark. All right, so what we're not doing here is we're not going to be doing any kind of shading. So much like get to the ground, this is an exercise and we're training our eyes to look at our subject and make a decision about which areas of the subject are in light and which areas of the subject are dark or in shadow. Okay, so I'm going to be doing three drawings throughout the course of this video, and you can see me starting to finish up the first one here. And these are all from the references that we had available uh, in the folder on Schoology. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the, at the reference, I'm looking at the subject, and as I draw, I'm focusing on major edges, right? So both the edges of the object, right, all its different parts, but I'm also focusing on the edges of the value. I'm trying to focus on the edge where I see the light end and the dark or the shadows begin, right? And that's what I'm trying to put down. So I'm using a bit of a two-stage process here with pen. Uh, you can certainly do this exercise with pencil as well. Uh, but the first step is to just go through and do a line drawing where I basically, basically just pick out all of those major edges, right? So I'm in the second one here, you can see I do a little bit of measuring there just because I'm working with a face. Uh, I didn't want to wing it, so I did take an opportunity to mark out uh, hairline, nose, and chin, just, you know, get some basic landmarks in there. Uh, and then I use some of the getting to the ground concepts, but I do move around a little bit more, um, just blocking out all those major edges. So it, it, you end up with this kind of block style uh, drawing, right, where you're focusing on turning all of the light and dark into shapes. Uh, now, the real challenge in these comes with deciding whether something is light or dark. And sometimes that can be a pretty easy thing to see. Sometimes uh, it's a very, very clear division, like there'll be a very clear edge between the light and the shadow area. Uh, but other times you will have to make an artistic choice, right? Um, there's no real hard rule uh, you know, when you find yourself in one of those situations where you're, you know, you're not really sure if something is light or dark, you know, and you've just got to, you got to pick one side or the other. Um, so just go for it. You'll figure it out through trial and error. Like if you're drawing and you draw it as light and it looks kind of funky, try drawing it as dark instead. Um, and vice versa. All right. Kind of winding down here in this last drawing, there's not really a whole lot else to say on this particular topic other than the main goal is continuing to practice looking for edges, but now as opposed to just looking at the edges of the object, it's, it's physical edges, we're also going to be looking at the edges of the value, the edges between light and dark. All right, so posterized value, you're gonna give it a shot in your drawings as well. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and stop recording this video, uh, and you guys can just watch me finish the drawing. All right, till next time. All right, guys, so I actually lied to you. I am going to jump back in here real quick just for a, a last little bit of technical advice. Uh, Media-wise, if you decide to use pen or marker for this, then that's going to kind of decide this for you because you'll either have the white of the page or the, uh, the value of the pen or the marker. But if you decide to use pencil for this activity, when you shade in the shadow areas, shade them in at about 50%. All right, you don't need to make them super black because that's a lot of graphite on the page, uh, but you do want them to be dark enough that you can actually see them. So 50%, like a, a good middle gray, is usually a good value to use. All right, now I'm really done.